A violent confrontation involving police plays out in front of a Toronto coffee shop. A man lies on the ground moments after being shot. An officer holding a gun goes down moments later, clutching his leg, bleeding heavily from a stab wound. That officer is now recovering in hospital tonight. The man who allegedly stabbed him is also undergoing treatment. Our Mark McAllister joins us live from College in Lansdowne. And Mark, this is still a developing situation, but you're learning more about exactly what happened in those chaotic moments. Yeah, as we speak right now, Cynthia, the SIU is on the scene investigating the matter because it has involved police. And as you had mentioned, uh, a police officer was stabbed, ended up going down in front of this Tim Hortons right here. And also the suspect in the situation was shot. There was quite a bit of witness video in and around the scene, and we had a chance to see it up front, close and personal, with a little more information coming to us as well. Intense eyewitness video of police officers standing over a suspect, bleeding and guns drawn before one officer ends up on the ground himself after being stabbed in the leg. Minutes before, police say they arrived at the Tim Hortons looking for a person in crisis. And while trying to apprehend the male, a police officer was stabbed in the leg. An officer then discharged their firearm. The suspect was shot and both lie on the ground with other officers responding and pools of blood along with a knife seen close by. The woman seen standing next to the suspect claims she is his girlfriend and describes what she saw. We were just at Tim Hortons having a coffee. This is actually the regular Tim Hortons. We come here all the time. Nothing's ever happened. Um, my understanding is what happened is he was grabbed and sometimes people have different reactions to having force on them. Also, if you tell someone you have a warrant, kind of they need to kind of know what's kind of going on. You can't just kind of start grabbing them to arrest them. I would never think you'd stab someone. Um, actually, after he did that, he even apologized to the officers. Things happen and I don't know. I, I just think if it was handled differently, this it would have never gone to this to this moment, I guess. Both the officer and the suspect were rushed to hospital and listed in stable condition. The province's special investigations unit has been brought in and is now investigating. Police say the officer is in his early 20s and hasn't been on the job very long, but that his training was complete. It's the latest in a number of recent incidents involving police sustaining serious injuries on Toronto streets. I have had enough with what's going on in the city. This is the third officer we've had injured now in three days. We had a uniform officer punched in the face walking down the street a few days ago, another officer with a broken leg, and now we have this. It has to stop. We need the public and we need the leaders of, our, uh, of Canada, of the city, our councillors, everybody to come out and support the work that our men and women are doing each day. Those living and working in the area around the small plaza where the incident took place offered mixed reactions to the violent conflict. We live like three or four houses down. We just had a shooting like a month ago, like in a house, in a residence. And now a Tim Hortons that we go to like all day, like every day and night, sometimes into the, you know, 3 a.m. And it's a, it's a really chill location. There's not really a lot happening. and. I'm gen I'm just shocked because we are we're walking through here hours and hours a day, multiple times a day. Was it shocking to you to see all this? Uh, Not really. No. A couple well, months ago there was a shooting up here. Yeah. I've been here for 50 years, nothing new. So it doesn't shock you in any way? No. So still a very active scene right now. Forensics, the SIU, College Street is still closed off for a few blocks. To the east of here, traffic is flowing here at Lansdowne, and as you can see, yellow tape still surrounding the plaza itself. The one person that we just heard, few, heard from referenced another incident in the area. That was just a couple of months ago when a young man was shot and killed just to the north of here at Lansdowne and Bloor. Late this afternoon, Mayor Olivia Chow also reacting via social media, saying she wishes the injured officer a quick recovery and that violence is never acceptable.